Hello, I'd like to introduce myself to you. My name is Karen Wells. I'm a professor in the Department of Organizational Leadership. I teach leadership classes in graduate school and write about and teach mindfulness. We actually practice mindfulness in all of my classes. We look specifically at how mindfulness is aligned with principles of leadership. Other areas of research for me are in resilience, self-compassion, and trauma. And trauma is exactly what we are experiencing right now in the middle of this pandemic. With all the uncertainty, with all of the ambiguity, and with all the isolation that we're experiencing right now. So I thought what I would do would be to share with you some ideas about mindfulness. Maybe we could enter into a brief practice and you might see how that feels for you. If it can offer you a sense of calm for maybe dark moments or long empty kind of moments that we're experiencing. So first of all, what mindfulness is and is not. It isn't trying to empty our minds of all thoughts. It isn't like clearing everything and having nothing in your mind. Instead, it's really the opposite. It's about saying, what am I thinking? What is going on with me right now? It's I call it, when I do trainings, what is the internal temperature right now? So to get there, you might say, what do I need to hear right now? What am I feeling right now? What is most important to me right now? And that right now, that in the moment, that's exactly what mindfulness is. So it's paying attention to the moment with a thought of this intention. I am with you now. I always say that when I'm with a group. I am with you now. I'm here with you now. It's kind of my mantra. And it's mindfulness is without any judgment and without any criticism. So you might ask yourself right now, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? And you can look at your thoughts and maybe label them. In mindfulness, there's an expression, name it to tame it. So you might say, for example, thinking, thinking. Or worrying, worrying. And if you stay with that feeling, that emotion of worrying, for example, you might notice that it changes to fear or maybe food or family or this apartment, this home, or even something like anger. And if your thoughts become overwhelming, all you need to do from a mindfulness standpoint is bring yourself back to present moment. How? Maybe right now, feeling your feet on the floor, your legs on the chair, your hands may be clasped in your lap or palms up, palms down on your legs. And just allowing yourself a moment to settle. Be fully here. And see what that feels like. So if you would like to have a brief experience in mindfulness with me, a brief practice, here's what we can do. Allow yourself to fully arrive where you're at. How? Feeling your feet on the floor, your legs on the chair. Maybe just taking a deep breath. Allowing yourself again to settle, to be fully here. And so what I'd like to do with you is three, what we call three breaths. And it's, I call it mindfulness on the run because you can do this waiting for an appointment. You can do this uh, in a class, certainly uh, in a dark moment at night or waking up in the morning. So here's what happens with three breaths. You'll be breathing in, in this case, it'll be peace all three times. So breathing in, inhaling peace, and try and feel what that's like as peace kind of envelops your body. 
And then with the exhale, see what you can exhale as an emotion that maybe you'd like to eliminate right now. So if you're ready and just allow yourself to be fully here, no judgment, no criticism. And you can do this eyes open, eyes closed, whatever comfortable for you. Okay, so breathing in. I breathe in peace. Breathing out. I breathe out worry. Once again, for second breath, feeling that peace entering the body. Breathing in. I breathe in peace, breathing out, I breathe out worry. Third breath, breathing in, I breathe in peace, breathing out, I breathe out anxiety. And just seeing what that feels like to you. Was there any shift for you? Did your thoughts lessen? Did they intensify, for example? And just allowing yourself, again, without judgment or criticism, to see what's there, which really leads us into a place of self-compassion. So I mentioned that I work with trauma and teach about that. And there's a practice in dealing with, well, it's trauma-sensitive mindfulness, that it's like your, your fist is the hard place of trauma. So if you put your hand into a tight fist, that would be how the trauma feels for you. And just see what that feels like as you as you tighten that fist. Now, if you're thinking, you shouldn't be feeling this way, what's wrong with me, I should be okay with this, take your other hand and try and open that tight fist. It That is like having your foot on the accelerator and your foot on the gas at the same time. It doesn't work it makes it actually worse. In mindfulness, it's called what you feel you can heal. What you resist persists. So instead, try this. You have that, that um, trauma right here in your hand. And instead, you're respecting that trauma, that feeling that you have of maybe fear, of worry, of some anxiety of the uncertainty of it. And instead, you take your other hand with self-compassion and you cradle it, you hold it. You say something like, look, I've got your back. I know you're working to keep me safe. I'm gonna see you through this. I'm with you right now. And see what that feels and see if that allows your feelings to relax to soften. You can soften your heart while you're thinking about it. And just see, what again, what you need in this moment. There's another brief breathing that you can do, and it goes like this. Self-compassion is really at the heart of it. Breathing in, I do my best. Breathing out, I let go of the rest. And sometimes that's exactly where we need to be as we offer ourselves compassionate care and a way that we say, yes, again, building this airplane while flying it, I have to take care of myself, self-care right now in this moment. No one is totally alone. We are in this together. We're trying to forge a new path, trying to understand what is um, uncertain right now in the moment. So I hope you feel the care and the compassion from each other as students, from instructors, from professors, everybody up to and including 
President Peskovitz at Oakland University, who has shared with us many videos about caring for each other, the inclusion, the warmth, the harmony that's here at Oakland University. So I just close with uh, my singing bowl, and it's a sound that'll resonate that we can sit to for just a few moments. Feel the calm as it enters your body, as it enters in into your thinking process, your emotions. And I wish you mindful moments. Thank you. Take the best care of yourself right now.